Hello and welcome to Fully Charged. Now, we're in an amazing uh, conference space in just outside Berlin. Uh, they're setting up for a, a, a presentation, a new product launch. We don't normally cover product launches, but this is a fairly special product. This is the Easy Charge. It's all about making charging easy. Now, Arta, what I love about this more than anything else is that here is a new electric car charger that has been developed by someone who drives an electric car. Because quite often in the, you know, with existing things, yeah. you think this, yeah. this person's never actually had to plug yeah. a car in in a garage. Correct, correct. But do tell me about this. this is so exciting, this new system you've developed. So, yeah, we've uh, developed the ceiling charging station called Leviamp. And um, if I just show you, yeah. is that you can swing the arm down from the, from the ceiling. You can plug in your car directly into the extended type 2 socket and there is, uh, there is all electronics or part of the electronics is here, part of the electronics is there right. um, and you can identify yourself here, you can pay with it, you can you know, use the app, um, use load management, whatever, whatever right. things you want to use. So normal, normal smart charging so station. The idea of this then is it goes on the roof of like a, a multi-story car park, of a big car Ex park. Exactly. So we, we've designed that for now to, to be used only indoors. Right. And most of the cables are run on the ceiling and then you're closer to the source and it's much easier and faster to install. Right. Um, it blends better into the environment of the park house. If you imagine there are a lot of open spaces where you, know, you don't have even the walls to put the wall yes. boxes on. Yeah. And you know, the park house has told us we need to move all the electric car chargers to the complete end to the walls. Yes, to which put is where they always which, are now. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. but they want to show it always in the beginning right. or they want to reserve the places for, for drivers in the beginning. So yeah. that's a problem. With this, you can solve that. Yeah. Right now, you, in some places, you don't have so many electric cars, but you want to have those places and you want, don't want to buy four chargers for four places. Right. So what you can do is you reserve four places around this charger. You put one in the middle and then you can turn the arm oh, what? To, to one and you can serve four places for, with one charging oh. station. Wow. You could have a car that's parked there, a yeah. car that's parked there Correct. or yeah. over there. You yeah, you'd correct. be in the middle. Yeah, I see. Exactly. Wow. That yeah, yeah. And then, you know, when, when, when you're done charging, you just pull the arm up and it right. goes up yeah, by itself. It stays up and there. the whole environment for a parking garage is just free, right. to, free to use and free to operate. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hearing all the questions coming. Yes, you know, yes, my yes, SUV yes. Comments, will please come. Yes. <laughs> no, don't, no, 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 comments. Don't, don't <laughs> comment, please. Don't comment. But uh, that, so that, I mean, that basically my, all yeah, vehicles that yeah. can get in a garage space can, can fit Ex exactly. up. Exactly. So we've, yeah. uh, we've calculated the average uh, and we've talked to many garages, many companies, and we've designed it in a way that even, you know, the shorter people could reach this with, with right, this. And, you've got that. Yeah, that the car don't hit them and things right. like that. So the average garage height in, in Europe would be around about in between 2.10 and 2.6 meters. Right. There are, of course, uh, garages which have much higher ceilings. Yes. And there are garages which have a little bit lower ceilings yeah. than that, but in general, like an 80 80% is going to fit, most, gonna of fit yeah. most of the time. Because that's what, normal lamp, right? If you have a normal lamp, it fits there. It yeah. basically is basically the same. So that's so it's also like it's a, a it's a, an a LED light, light exactly. as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Right. the unit here which we have is the you know the one with the, with the beamer and with right. the with the camera. So and that that's, plays that's, the image that on the plays ground. the image on the ground, right. and then you you can project advertisement, any kind of information you like. And then I'm I'm guessing that's a camera. There. That's is that right? that's a wide angle camera, right. 180 degrees. So you can program, for example, um, you can program it in a way to tell you if there is a car parked or not. Right. So just replacing the normal sensor which yeah. park garages wants to have. Yeah. Or you can have it as a um, as a security measure where you say you know if someone is standing near your car or walking near your car longer than 20 seconds it can make a snapshot send you the snapshot on wow. the phone and you can just say okay this i don't know this guy yeah. uh, you know. could that be linked up to software that runs on your phone if you're you know driving to a garage and you want to make sure there's a charger available in the software you can reserve the charging station right. and oh, by reserving We'll enable it in the future by reserving. You'll be able to check the spot in, in live stream. Right to see so that it's live clear. stream. Yeah, exactly. Right. So what power can you deliver through this arm then? Is it is An there anything a... up to 22 kilowatt? Oh, right. so up to 22. Yeah, up to right. 22 okay. kilowatt we do, and then you yeah, you you have fully flexible arm, and then you can swing it right round. Wow. 180 degrees, wow. and then you can put it up here. So yeah. It's fully flexible, up to 22 kilowatt. That was one of the challenges we had to, right. to solve when we were building this. Uh, it's just, it's one of those things that just looks right to me. It, it, like I want to drive into a, a big, uh, it would be a, probably a, a very nice German parking house with very shiny floor. Uh, we've seen different. And then you park there and then this, you just pull the arm down. Oh, it's 
Fantastic. Yeah, it's, and then you just you know strap the cable here. It it, it it's rigid. It oh, can I hold. see. So you hook you hook. Yeah, you don't need to, to leave your cable ground. on the ground if you don't want to. Yeah. And um, my idea was to create a, a nice looking charging station, by the way, because you know so most electric cars are nice. It's yeah. an emotional purchase. And, and then you put it next to the box, you know. And I'm like, okay, that's that's not the ideal way to do yeah. that. So I wanted to create a really nice charging station yeah. and a functional one. And I think. We've tried to achieve that with this with this unit. Yeah. Uh, right. Can I just have a go at pushing it back up? So clips it, it, in there, it, it, and then clicks. you pull it up there. Oh, a child could do it. Yes. <laughs> should not, but could. No, should not. <laughs> no, but child normally will not will not be, not able, be able to, to reach, to, to reach yeah. uh, the arm. And I mean, that's this is presumably even that in in mechanical terms. It's, it's not that complicated a, a, a system, but I bet it took a lot of developing to get that to oh, work yeah. in the way it did. I, to be honest, when, when I was starting this project and when I was starting this idea, uh, I thought, like, how difficult could it be to build something like that? I mean, you just yeah. put electronics inside, yeah. nice box, bit of a bar, yeah, bit of, yeah, a bit of a cable through yeah. the through arm. Unfortunately, or fortunately, I didn't know how difficult it would be in the in the end. And to develop this arm with this thick cable inside, yeah. because 22 kilowatt is right, the thick so cable, and then, you have, cable. Yeah, and then you have uh, the communication cable. So it's not just a single image then that you can show you, down you, there. You, you can, can put you know, it has it has a camera, speaker, and the projector, so you can combine this. You can run videos. Imagine this. A Google Ads with a physical space. You merge those two things. So, for example, one use case could be um, when there is an emergency, a fire emergency, you can displace the emergency exits on the right. ground directly tell and tell people, you know, go there or right. go, go here. Um, you can run any kind of information. If you're in a hotel and a hotel knows that you reserved the place, they can place your name there. Oh, your name's there. Yeah, like and you can just room. drive in. You see already nice. from the from the distance that you yeah. see it's your place. It's yeah. reserved for you. You can I just like drive. That. That's the sort of thing I'm used to. I like to drive into a car park and see Mr. Llewellyn on the yeah, floor. Yeah, that's, I, my, I, that's I, me. Exactly, get, you know. get away. Yes. <laughs> no, and and you know, it's just a normal use case where you just place the green image on the floor and say electric yeah. cars only. Yes. And I think for people, and it happened to you, it happened to me. Uh, we were iced. Yeah. But I think when you when you see the device with the camera and the projecting and the image, yeah. I think people will be less uh, yeah. less. But also, you've got so much. You've got so much more chance here because if there, say this this is the parking. This is over a parking yeah. space, and someone's parked their ice there. You can park here and still use it. I mean, because you can bring yeah, exactly. that arm down. You can, you can turn it around. So you've got a lot more it. space yeah, to, to use. Absolutely. Yeah. So this is a pre-production unit, and right. we'll, we'll start producing hopefully in the end of this year. And first deliveries will uh, occur in the 218, so in the right. beginning of 218. We've put all the needed electronics inside, inside this, this charter. Right. So it's a plug-and-play system. You just need the cable connection. Right. Then you need to drill five holes. We, we provide you with every needed thing in the box, so right. you, you, just, you just don't need to worry about anything. And then you just drill those holes, you put it up. The installation takes, we already have on average, I think, 25 minutes to right. install one, one, one charger. Wow. And so then the, even the metering, so that the owner of the, of the unit can tell how much is, each exactly. charger is supplying. Exa exactly. And Either he can access it uh, electronically via computer, yeah. or via internet, or he can look, um, there is a special window where you can see the meter. Oh, you can actually yeah, you can see meter the meter. Right. Yeah, it's, uh, it's lighting up, so you can see how much kilowatt is, yeah. is used. So you can just write down, you know, old school write down. Yes. The electrician oh, right. can come and on just paper. write this yeah, like on that. paper. Yeah, but they do it still. <laughs> yes. some Places, yeah. Yeah. So the only one thing I think I should explain just for UK-based viewers is the, the, the term Beamer is very often used to, in re reference to BMW. Ah, oh, right. Because so when, when you first said... <laughs> we didn't put BMW yeah, inside, no. Because no. no. <laughs> when you first said, this is for Beamers, I went, oh, it's only for BMW i3s, because no. you know, it's a, a Beamer charger. But no. I just want to yeah, explain yeah, that. Exactly. That's, yeah. the, that's the... That's the tower, projector, yeah, right. Yeah. So actually, to be more specific then, this is a, a charger that's been developed by someone who drives an electric car and who works in software engineering and understands how computers work. Uh, that's that's yes. an advantage. Let's say yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. This, let's say this was developed by a real person who drives the car yes. for real people who drive the car yeah. and, you know, with a little bit of sense of design. Well, I'm, I'm, I, I can only say I really hope that we see them everywhere because it's a, I think it's a fantastic, it's just a, a very simple solution to a quite complicated problem that, yeah. every, that lots of people are going, oh, how are we going to do yeah, this? We, yeah, we, you know, we always say we, it's a product for the niche market, but yeah. we are lucky that our niche market is so huge. It's quite big. It's, it's very big. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Arthur. Really Thanks good. A lot very good to be coming. No, thank you. So that's all we've got time for this week. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Uh, please do subscribe to Fully Charged and also have a look at the Patreon link. And uh, as always, if you have been, Thank you for watching.